We're just a few weeks away from the Denver Broncos opening up training camp. Cannot wait. And the Denver Broncos have already reversed a problem that has plagued this team for years. Uh, definitely was with this team at times last year. And I can't wait to share all that and so much more in this video. If you're new to the channel, I'm Ben, diehard Denver Broncos fan. Helps me out a ton. If you like the Broncos as well, if you'd smash that like and subscribe button. So we remember that Peter Drucker had the famous line that culture eats strategy for breakfast. You could have the best idea ever for your organization or your team, but if you don't have a bunch of people who love each other and believe in that team, you're never going to be able to execute it. And the, the winning culture is something that's really plagued this team. Uh, going back to Fangio, Vance Joseph, definitely at the start of Peyton's tenure here at the Denver Broncos. And you could just feel uh, that tension in every single press conference that Sean Payton had. He couldn't get off the stage fast enough. I remember even after that one victory, how upset he seemed. And he talked about the next day how he was going out for sushi with his whole family after it. And he just drove around the parking lot, didn't even want to go in and eat it because he wasn't happy. And there just wasn't that winning culture and that belief. And now we have so many different players who've come out and been like, hey, night and day culture difference in this team and this team a year ago right now. Sean Payton's press conferences are lasting longer every single time. It's like he gets off the stage and here's a question from the whole slew of reporters and he pops back up and yucks it up with them. And that's just so against how he looked starting off in Denver last year. Remember the media couldn't even be on the field for training camp and now it's just open door policy it's just a night and day difference and now we're seeing more and more players come out and talk about how Sean Payton has reversed that losing culture uh, that we had um, you know even just starting from OTAs last week when Sean Payton specifically named it and just said there's a youthful energy about this team we heard that's what attracted Brandon Jones to that team you heard PJ Locke talk about it it's why when we do that East Coast road trip and we go out to Tampa Bay and then to the Jets, we're staying out there because we're a group of dudes now who like to be around each other and have that college type atmosphere. Uh, here's Sean Payton talking about how different it is and, and about that the, the feeling you get, that culture you get, which is going to eat the strategy for breakfast. This, this first half of these OTAs have gone really good. I mean, really good. And, and I told him that. that. I, I like the energy. Um, I feel like we're younger, and uh, and you kind of feel that at practice. We're younger, and you feel it at practice. So that's culture. You can't name it. You can't define it, but you know when you have it, and you definitely know uh, when you don't have it. We saw DNVR did an uh, awesome podcast here with a bunch of dudes, including Cortland Sutton, when Cortland Sutton came out and said, we're going to shock the world, and we have a feeling and a belief deep in this team. And then they had Jarrett Stidham on as well, who said the exact same thing, and they name it right at the start of this. Let's kind of notice Sean be a little different, a little more comfortable, a little happier. Um, and so we asked him that today. So he even notices it covering this team. Zach Stevens, DMVR, covers this team day in, day out, and said, hey, we noticed Sean Payton like – Seems to actually like his job and not want to get out of here as quickly as he can every single time and puts that on on the quarterback who was starting at the end of last year. And he said, yeah, I guess that first year I kind of went around and peed on all the trees here. <laughs> um, have, have you noticed a different Sean Payton? Yeah, it's been great. Um, obviously, last year, like, I, I didn't know Sean on a personal level all that, w all that well, but, you know, second year with him, I feel like I'm able to – you know, talk to him a little bit more randomly. Um, like we were talking, you know, at practice today about summer plans and, um, you know, he's got a, he's got a place down in Cabo and I'm going down to a, a wedding in Cabo. And he's like, yeah, why don't you just stay at the house? I'm like, dude, like, I don't need to stay at your house, but thanks. You know? So uh, awesome interview there. Just the difference of, of the camaraderie and the culture there is just jumping off the screen in interview after interview. Uh, we remember Jaleel McLaughlin hopped on the uh, Den, DN, no, not DNVR, 104.3 The Fan and said that that entire team believes and just scoffed the national media for doubting this team and says, oh, you're not going to come to us after game one and apologize. Like, we remember what you said about us. And then Jonas Griffith, who I have broken down a ton on this channel, and I'm so, so excited to watch flourish in this new system this year, um, came out and addressed this specifically again, hopped on 104.3 The Fan with Zach and Philip Lindsay, and just talked about the reputation that Sean Payton has and what a night and day difference that he has seen just in a year. Uh, and he goes out and says, hey, yeah, honestly, I know last year, like, Sean Payton was really grumpy with the media, but he's really confident in this team right now. 
and we're going to surprise a lot of people. How many team, how many players inside of the Denver Broncos are coming out and saying, we're going to surprise some people. Don't forget about this. I, I just was listening to a Joe Rogan podcast where he was interviewing this dude talking about um, the belief we used to have about Parkinson's and Alzheimer's and what all the people were saying was true and then what the truth didn't match. And that's exactly what we have right now with the Denver Broncos. You have all these people in New York and California who are just plugging things into algorithms based on last year's team, and they're not identifying the truth of what we have going right here with the Denver Broncos, which is a lot of dudes who believe that we are going to surprise people. Cortland Sutton said it. Jaleel McLaughlin said it. Uh, Griffith said it. We saw Pat Sertan pop on a podcast and compare Sean Payton to Nick Saban and say we're going to shock some people. And and then Jonas Griffith came out and said that Sean Payton specifically said that he told the team, I'm really comfortable with where we are and what we got on this team. We got a lot of work to go, but I feel really confident that we are ready. And, and that is just not the attitude that he had last year, which is why he snapped on Russell Wilson on the sideline, because he knew we didn't have the horses for this race. Um, and so I do think a lot of that is just his unhappiness with Russell Wilson. But the fact of the matter is that all these players on the Denver Broncos now have a belief in it and they love hearing all this outside noise. So let's let them keep calling us talentless because we are going to shock some people. And uh, this article says like the picking up good vibrations. It's not just a catchy beach boys tune. It's what we have right now. So the big question I have for all of y'all and I need you to answer in the comments is what do you think? Um, what do you think Sean Payton and the Denver Broncos big goal is for this year. Do you think that this is a competitive rebuild and all we need to see is a couple flashes out of Bo Nix and, and we chalk that up as a win? Or do you think the Denver Broncos are actually vying to push for the playoffs? Because there are a ton of rumors out there right now that are all about Cortland Sutton. If Sean Payton's goal is is let's just get some flashes out of Bo and let's be competitive next offseason when the bulk of Russell Wilson's dead cap is behind us. Let's reset this whole thing. Let's see some minor improvements and then let's go for it next year. If that is the case, then I think there you could truly see a world where this uh, rumored trade happens, where the Denver Broncos and the Steelers and the Rams would do a three-way trade. Now, I do not believe that's the case. I think Bo Nix is the starter and that we are gunning for the playoffs this year. But the kind of cool part right now is like we're about to find out what Sean Payton's goal truly is. If Cortland Sutton is at Denver Broncos training camp and he has a rework deal, it is a great signal that Sean Payton is going all in on winning this year. If we do a trade like this, that this proposed trade would have us sending uh, Cortland Sutton to the Steelers and then the Steelers would be sending their defensive tackle to replace Aaron Donald. Cameron Hayward would go to the Rams and then we would get in in return for sending Russell in that three-way tra trade. We'd get Tutu Atwell, who was a second round draft pick. He's 5'8", 4'3", 40 guy, like very fast, but like he's not a wide receiver one. You could see a world where like maybe you could scheme up a system where he could be like Tyree Kill, but he's not the prototypical Sean Payton wide receiver one. But in return for that, we'd get a couple third round draft picks. The reason why I think we are fixing to find out what Sean Payton wants is if we do this deal, it is a sign to me that Sean Payton is building for the future. If we don't do this deal, when it seems like that deal is definitely out there, that makes sense for both of those teams. They're not giving up that much and we're getting picks. If we don't do this deal, it is a, a sign to me that Sean Payton is all in right now and we have a ton to look forward to in this offseason. I don't think all those players are saying we're going to shock the world if we're building for two years down the road. I think they're saying we're shocking the world because that's happening next year. But I could be way off, very curious to see what all y'all think. Um, either way, we're going to shock the world and I believe. Oh!